My name is Allison Davis. I'm the Digitization Coordinator here at the Presbyterian Historical Society. I oversee all of the internal and external scanning projects. The digitization process begins when records come into the building, and then there's the actual scanning process, which um, requires a lot of care to make sure that we handle the uh, fragile and unique items um, carefully. Um, after that, there's a lot of time and energy spent with um, post-production and quality control to make sure that we're delivering the best digital surrogate product possible. The final product is a PDF, which is delivered to a church via electronic file transfer or via a USB drive. And then once the product is delivered to the church, we preserve copies of the files here at PHS. On average, we image about 100,000 scans per year, and that is mainly to service churches and mid-councils. A church might want their records scanned to allow them to have remote access to their materials and also to protect the objects by eliminating the need to handle them. For congregations interested in digitizing their own materials, I recommend contacting us at PHS first. Our recent job for the First Presbyterian Church in New York City was over 10,000 pages and nearly 50 volumes of records dating back through the early 19th century. Uh, first Church was organized in 1716, and its first building was constructed on Wall Street downtown in 1719. In the 19th century, the church followed migration patterns north along the island of Manhattan um, and settled on uh, Fifth Avenue in the middle of the 19th century. To contemporary audiences, First Church's history is significant as one of the prime sites of the modernist fundamentalist controversy. And uh, First's pastor, Harry Emerson Fosdick, was a key figure um, in the theological modernist movement. He gave a series of sermons in the 1920s, um, including uh, Shall the Fundamentalists Win? And we have those here from 1922 at First Church, and part of the same series from 1922, The New Knowledge in the Christian Faith. Um, a lot of Fosdick's sermons were really uh, prescient about the path that uh, mainline Protestantism would take in the 20th century. To this day, First Church New York uh, maintains uh, its historic commitment to social witness. It remains an open and affirming church, um, and we're very pleased to be able to share their story with others.